Hi everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So today, it's all about nourishing foods. When we choose to nourish ourselves with food that's alive, it gives us a body that is strong, healthy, and vibrant, and it enlivens every other aspect of our life. It also gives us the ability to live in a body that is our ideal size, shape, and form for us. And that, my friends, is a very juicy and delicious way to live. All right, let's get this healthy and delicious food haul party started. Let's go. Hey, hey, my beloveds. Guess what time it is. <laughs> That's right. You guys asked and I listened. You guys are like, food haul, I want a food haul. So today, not only are we gonna do a food haul, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek into what's in my cupboards. We're gonna lay everything out on this table, and not only that, I'm gonna show you guys how to mix and match so you can make some really yummy and delicious, nutritious, raw, vegan, plant-based food. Because <laughs> I know it's confusing sometimes. I know a lot of you guys message me saying, Dr. Elizabeth, okay, now I know what to eat, but how do I put it together? So first of all, Relax, sit down, get yourself a nice raw green juice. I'm gonna take my jacket off and we are gonna get busy. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you guys. You know, I really miss you each week and so I always get so excited to come here and film these videos for you. So of course, all that to say, I'm so happy you guys are here. I love you guys, yeah. So let me just start by showing you guys what I got in our food hall. So first of all, let's talk about the plastic bags. Uh, someone had mentioned recyclable produce bags as well as our grocery bags. So yes, we recycle these plastic bags, but as soon as we wear these out, we're going to use recyclable produce bags as well. We love Mother Earth and we want to take very good care of her. So, Okay, so now let's get started with our healthy food haul. I'm going to just unbag everything, pop it into our basket of life, and then we're going to talk about what to do with this delicious, nutritious produce and food that we just got at the grocery store. All right, let's get started. And look at how beautiful this, you guys. This truly is a basket of life. Look at that, that is amazing. So we'll pop these here. Next, what we're gonna do, yeah, see if you need. <laughs> All right, now, okay. I get my produce at the local supermarket and then I go to my local health food store and get my superfood greens, my bulk items, and my protein powders because they offer such a great price. Over the years, I've learned to check prices at different stores because you can really get some nice deals that way. So now, this was my haul for today. But what I want to do now is I want to take this video one step further. And what I want to do is I want to share with you what I have in my cupboards. Then what I want to do is I want to share with you, I came up with this idea in my meditation. I really, really like it. This concept of thinking of food like you would clothing. So you know how you have your clothing wardrobe. I want you to begin to think of food as a food wardrobe. And you know how you have in your clothing wardrobe, you can mix and match different pieces. So you may only have one pair of black pants or one pair of black leggings. But when you mix and match that with a beautiful top and a beautiful pair of boots, now you have something gorgeous to go out in the evening with. But you can take that same pair of leggings, pair it with the workout top, and now you have a really cute outfit to go to the gym in. Or let's say you're just casual out for the day with friends, you pop on your leggings with a real casual t-shirt, grab on your little jacket, and you're good to go. It's the same pair of black leggings, but it'll take you all the way across the board when you mix and match with different things. I want you guys to think in terms of your food the exact same way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my things from my cupboard first, and I'm gonna show you how I mix and match my food wardrobe to create some really yummy and delicious, nutritious foods. Because I know a lot of you message me and you're like, okay, Dr. Elizabeth, I'm trying to go vegan, I'm really trying to go raw vegan, but I just don't know what to do. Like, what do I do with this? Now you showed me the food haul, what do I do with it? So that's why I wanna show you guys how to think of it in terms of a food wardrobe, just like you would a clothing wardrobe, and now it's easy. You guys are living a healthy, raw vegan lifestyle and you don't even have to think about it. So that's what we're all about today. Good, so let me go ahead, I'm gonna move these things to the side 
gather my other things, and push pa, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> push pa, see to play. Don't go away, you guys. All right. <laughs> I'm not playing today. <laughs> I pulled everything out. So let me see if I can get this organized so you guys can see it. I'm getting so, I'm so excited about this concept of, of mixing and matching your food just like you do your clothes and your clothing wardrobe because I think it's really going to be a service to you guys. All right, my beloveds, let's start pairing. So what some different options we could do. So obviously you guys know simple, basic raw juice 101. All these things right here, you pop it into a juicer, you have a delicious, nutritious raw green juice. Now, if I want, I can take my protein powder along with my kale and some superfood greens, mix it together, and you guys know I've made tons of these for you guys. You have a superfood smoothie. Those are basics. Now let's start talking about meals. So instead of grabbing some bread, I love these wraps. These are 100% raw vegan, raw <laughs> vegan coconut wraps. They're made from coconut meat. I know I showed these to you in one of my what I eat in a day videos. Oh my God. Seriously, these are so, so delicious. So let's just talk. This is one of the staples in my diet. I could take this wrap, layer some nice uh, cashew cheese over it, put a little bed of kale on top, slice up some avocado, take some of my raw vegan hemp seeds, sprinkle that on top, and maybe some of my chia and flax seeds, and then maybe do just a pinch of coconut aminos to add a little zing to it, or maybe even layer over some sun-dried tomatoes, take this, wrap it up, you have a lunch, a dinner, or a delicious snack. You could take the same wrap, so see now, it's one of our basics, <laughs> just like an article of clothing. I can take the same wrap, I can take a delicious mango, delicious ripe mango, slice it up, put that on there, put, add in maybe a couple of berries, drizzle in just a hint of coconut aminos, and now I have a delicious, delicious sweet wrap. Then what I can do with the same wrap is I can take my raw vegan almond butter. I put a layer of the raw vegan almond butter on top of this delicious wrap, take an avocado or maybe take a couple slices of, of celery, lay in some of my greens, add a dash of mint just for like just a little hint of deliciousness and now sprinkle in a couple of my seeds. Now I have an entirely different kind of wrap but it all came from the coconut wraps. And now you guys can get these, most places have them at local health food stores, but oh, if you're overseas, you can get them online. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description box below. Okay, so that, then this is just one of the items in our food wardrobe. So now let's say, let's talk for a second about salads. So now we're going to take any one of our greens here, put them all together in a great big bowl. Now we chop up some ginger, we chop up some avocado, we chop up some tomatoes, and then what we do, uh-oh, I just remembered I forgot <laughs> a couple things. The bushpa, don't move, because it's very important to what I'm sharing with you guys. I forgot my nuts. I almost forgot my nuts. Okay, so we're gonna put the nuts, let's stack the seeds here, and we'll put the nuts right here. Perfect. So now we have a beautiful salad composed of all this beautiful produce that we have, but then what we do to layer on more nutrition and make it more delicious is we sprinkle in some of our seeds. We can use hemp seeds, we can use chia, flax, we can sunflower seed. You can also use pumpkin seeds, but I, I'm all out of those right now. And then what you can do is you just take, you guys know I love my powders, my superfood powders. I did a whole video on my five favorite superfoods. You guys, I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can go check that out. I did that one in the fall. It's my five favorite superfoods. So you guys can use these delicious superfoods. Like for example, you can take, this is chlorella. I get this at the health food store. That's why I get it by the bag. I get it by the bulk, which is really reasonable. The chlorella is a green algae loaded with protein, guys. <laughs> loaded with protein <laughs> and so good for you. So you can then sprinkle a little of this on the top or if you're making a salad dressing, just add a dash of this into the salad dressing for added nutrition. 
Now let's say, let's talk for a second about salad dressings. What we can do is you can take a little bit, like you can take one stalk of this celery right here. Celery is a natural source of sodium and our body needs sodium. So instead of taking even sea salt, which is, you know, that's, it's, a, it's a healthy salt. But if you take a stalk of celery, that's even healthier. Now you take a little stalk of celery, you mix it with your soaked cashews, you add a little bit of nutritional yeast, which gives it kind of a cheesy flavor, mix all that together, add in a couple of seeds, now you have a delicious cheesy dressing to go with your amazing salad. Using the staples that we already have here. Cashews are also one of my staples because I make cashew milk out of this. It's actually much easier than you think to make homemade milk. It's better than the store-bought kind, um, but of course, store-bought kind is better than dairy. So, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not good for you, that's not good for you. Everything is relative. If, you, if people are way over here eating junk and crap and cooked foods and dairy and meat and all that kind of stuff, if we move them in the direction just a little bit, that's one step closer to incredible health, right? I'm always about saying what's right with things. And the more we put what's right and healthy into our body, number one, the less we're going to want to put as unhealthy food. And the more amazing we feel. And then the more amazing we feel, we'll naturally make those choices because it makes us feel so good. Like, so, you know, it's like we're moving in the right direction. You guys are moving in the right direction. And that's all I really care about. So uh, this is not a punishing channel. <laughs> I am only going to like applaud you. Yay! big time for what you're doing right because that's how real change is made. Real change comes from self-love. So the more we love ourselves and the more we appreciate ourselves, the more we like to, you know, pat ourselves on the back for what we're doing right, the more we're going to want to do that. Enough said. Okay. <laughs> I just want you guys to know how amazing you are and how incredibly great you're doing. Bon? Ça suffit maintenant. Okay. Oh, I pulled out another little French phrase. That was good, wasn't it? Ça suffit maintenant. <laughs> I believe you guys message me below and tell me all my beautiful people who speak French. I believe that means that's enough for right now. Ça suffit maintenant. Okay, bon. Okay, let's keep going. Now, let's talk for a minute about um, wellness. If you guys remember in, um, this is before the holidays, I did a video, raw vegan chocolate brownies. So walnuts are the base that I use to make my brownies. That's what makes them and have the consistency of brownies. Or you can use almonds. That's why there's so few almonds left in here because I think in my last batch of uh, raw vegan chocolate brownies, I used almonds. So now you can see we can start creating not only meals but desserts with all this beautiful food. You can take the raw vegan chocolate brownie recipe that I gave you guys and now you toss in some raw vegan almond butter Oh my God, that's next level delicious. Or let's say you like bananas. You toss a couple bananas in there. Now you have banana chocolate brownies. You can see where I'm going with all this. There's like an infinite, there's just an infinite combination of foods, literally just from what we have here on this table. Then you guys can get creative with. All right, you guys, message me below and let me know if you guys like this style of video because as you can see here with my avocado, I have so many different variations of things you can do with avocado. I also have variations of things you can do with kelp noodles. The possibilities are endless. So I'd love to do more videos like this featuring different ways that you can create meals with just these staples that I have here on the table. All right, so message me below and let me know if you like this idea and we'll definitely do more videos just like this one. Now, if you guys start getting busy and get creative with these recipes and come up with something, message me and let me know and I will definitely feature it on the channel, okay? Because I think that I think that would be really fun and really cool to do. You guys thought I forgot the love map. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just take a look. I want you to look very, very, very carefully. And I want you to see if you see how to say I love you in your language, because I went through and added everybody in there. If you don't, message me and let me know and I'll add it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. I have another surprise for you guys that I'm gonna layer on the next time. So next time you will see. So before we end the video today, I just wanna mention something to you guys. I was trained 
by a raw vegan expert who is literally almost 25 years my senior, who's been eating healthy, raw vegan, plant-based for longer than I've been alive. So that's over almost 60 years. He's incredible. He is hardcore <laughs> and he is old school. So he's the one that taught me apple cider vinegar shots. I know a lot of people are proponents of apple cider vinegar shots, but I saw a lot of your messages on last week's video saying that there are possible dangers um, of the acid of the apple cider vinegar on the esophagus. Because of that, and because my motto in life, and certainly with all you guys here on my channel, is above all, do no harm when working out, and also when eating, and also when interacting with other people. So because of that, I'm going to suggest that you guys, if you decide to do apple cider vinegar, which does alkalize your body, that you take it and dilute it with eight ounces of water. Boom. Okay. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to message me. I love when you guys message me. I love when you interact with me. Thank you for your input. All right. So let's get back to the video. All right, my beloveds. You guys know I love you. I love you to infinity and back. I love you so much. Happy creating. <laughs> just get yourself a nice little food haul and just go to it. Start having fun. Enjoy yourselves. And, um, until next time, my beloveds, happy skinny dipping in the fountain of youth. Ciao.